You can unlock the secret Mustang and Sally blueprint if you're lucky enough to find them in Warzone and get a kill with them. So let's go take them for a spin in zombies. And when I say you gotta be lucky to find these, I really mean you do. Because I played Warzone for maybe like three hours yesterday that might be a little bit of a stretch but it felt like i was playing like a hundred games opening like thousands of loot crates and i only found these things twice one time i found them and didn't get a single kill with them but the second time i found them i made sure that i made the most of it and got the kill but these blueprints are for the nine millimeter damon and obviously they're a reference to the m1911 s from previous Black Ops games where when you pack a punch it, they get the special feature where your bullets become explosive, kind of like how the Morse is in this game. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I don't think this is gonna have that pack a bunch ability considering this is just a blueprint for another weapon that already exists. And to make sure that I keep the spirit of these 1911s, I'm gonna make sure I hit this pack a punch machine before I use my crystal on these because I wanna keep the blueprint look. And to be honest, I don't think there's a better pistol they could have picked to put these on because the nine millimeter Damons are actually not too bad. Like, this is unupgraded, unpack a punch, killing tier two zombies like it's nothing. Well, maybe not like it's nothing, but it can still take them on if it had ammo. Uh oh. I was trapped myself in a corner immediately. And luckily for me, this gives me an excuse to get these spinal husk. I think I'm only a few kills away from pack a punch. Yeah, I just need 17 more kills and we'll get that done. And I also brought in these X13 autos just because why, why not get a whole nother pistol done? If we're, we're working on pistols, let's bring in another one. Let's hope I do this right. We'll give this a quick melee and activate that. There we go. We got these pack a punch three and we didn't lose the camo on them. These, I don't care about losing the camo on. Oh no, we're fine. We'll get them both to legendary. We'll throw in a little mag holding. A little dead wire detonators never hurt anybody. Golden armor plates and some stamina. Now let's see what these bad boys can do. Let's start off with a quick little tier two bounty. Now, how's this doing against a tier two HVT mangler? Helmet broken immediately. What if I just shoot one pistol? What's his health at? Dude, why are you ignoring me? Okay. Awesome. We didn't get to see his health bar, but he just died. But I never know the right cadence to shoot these weapons. Like if it's a full auto akimbo weapon, I usually just shoot like one until it's like halfway through its mag. And then I start shooting the other. That way, like while one's reloading, I can constantly be shooting the other one. But we don't have to really worry about that with mag holding. So should I shoot them both at the same time? Kind of like double tap. Does it work like that? Or should I be alternating shots? But either way, we got Spinal Husk. If only I had enough Spinal Husk to start working on Arachnia or Arcadia or whatever it's called. But I think these have proven they're powerful enough. Let's uh, take a little step into the big leagues here in a tier three. We'll make a quick pit stop here. Let's get some perks, a uh, little speed cola. Actually, we probably don't even need speed cola. I don't know why that was the first thing I grabbed, but all these other perks should work. I've been getting surrounded. And how are we doing against some tier three zombies? Honestly, it looks like it's struggling slightly. It's not doing the greatest. What do you think, Mangler? You liking it? Oh, wait. There we go. Maybe it's more of a close range thing. And the Abomination wants to insert himself into this. So you know what? We'll take him on. Right out the gate. See if we can break a face on him. Oh, we did pretty fast, actually. This is not doing bad damage to them. Maybe I was just being very inaccurate against these zombies, which is not out of the realm of possibility. Let's try to be cautious of our ammo. We'll actually pay attention to that. I'll pick some up. We gotta get this mimic out of here. Night, night. And here comes another laser. Can we get these shots in? Ooh, we got slapped. We can use our X-13s on the ground. Can I switch weapons on the ground? I cannot, but the X-13s are doing well. X-13 is going to be uh, the background character today. I brought him in here with the intention of being uh, efficient and getting stuff down, but uh, I will probably end up forgetting about them. But this Abomination face has to be close to breaking because we already got him to half health. Oh, there goes the middle. It's weird. With these pistols, I feel like I still need to reload. I don't know what it is. Every other weapon with Maggle holding, like maybe at first when it first came out. Oh, wait. Abomination dead. Let me stop my yapping. Did you drop anything good? Oh, some Shatter Blast? We'll take that. What I was saying is when uh, Maggle Holding first came out, I still felt the need to reload, but I, I feel like I've gotten over that since then. Oh, speaking of reload. But with these pistols, for whatever reason, I still feel like I need to, even though, like, we have so many bolts to go through. But it's a little bit of a rough start here in Tier 3. It didn't look like it was doing a, a whole lot of damage, but the way we just handled that Abomination, these things aren't bad. And I guess we'll try out the X-13s. These are a little bit worse. 
but they feel very brain dead. Why does the left pistol feel like it's going way crazier than the right? You can tell what hand my operator jacks off with. You can see where all the strength's at. But damn, these X-13s seem weak as hell. The Mangler is eating these like it's nothing. And they might as well be airsoft guns. And you're a special type of evil if you pull up to like an airsoft fight and your shit's fully automatic like this. You got the Glock with the switch at the airsoft fight. Devious. And the weird thing about these is that their name, the blueprint name is literally just called Sally. Like Mustang, they, they must have got divorced. Maybe that's why they're not explosive anymore. Mustang was bringing the boom. But these guys are leaving the bounty unattended. Oh, go ahead and pick this up. We'll give this a good old try. And it's an abomination. Perfect. We already took out that other one pretty easily. We'll see how we do against the HVT. Are oh, you shooting a laser? Let's get a face broken. Nope. We're a little too out of his range. You can't rotate like that. And because you guys have been telling me since I've been using the gas grenades that the stuns are a lot better with the uh, deadbolt detonators. So let's try that out on these zombies. Oh, shit. Yeah, that immediately goes off. I feel like there's still an argument to be made for the, the gas grenades, though, because those stay up for a bit longer. Oh, we got another laser. One face is going. There we go. These are taking care of business. We cleaned through all those zombies like it was nothing and still kept putting on pressure on this abomination. Here comes another one. And there goes my ammo. Why don't you laser these zombies for me? Actually, I can do this. There we go. Let's get this guy taken care of. So far, I am seeing that ammo is a bit of an issue with this weapon, but we haven't really had that much trouble finding ammo. I'm pretty sure the max amount of ammo I can have with this is around like five, 600, which isn't a crazy amount, especially with the MAGA holding. But they still seem pretty fun to use. Like we are just handling this guy. The movement speed is pretty decent for using this as a primary. You're not going to be outrunning any hellhounds or anything, but it's not bad enough to where I'm getting caught up and they're dealing some nice damage. Night, night. What do you got for me? Oh, two pack, two crystals. Very kind of you. And I feel like this might be a waste of time since the storm caller is always dead, but let's go uh, take a visit to the storm and see if he's still kicking around. See what these things can do against him. But storm caller, are you here, buddy? I want to be the one to kill you. You're not already dead. Oh, he is here. Wow. And the perfect spawn too. We get all this stuff to heal with. We'll aether shroud on him. Can we break his mask? There we go. Now you can see the real damage. Zombies, why don't you stay back? Oh, I actually don't think I've tried dead wire detonators on this guy yet. Why don't you stop healing for a second, please, sir? Thank you. And how about you have a stun? Does that do anything to you? No, of course not. Gets all your buddies, though. But I love fighting them in the areas where we do the worm fight at. Because we can just go right over here into our ammo crates. Refill our gas mask, refill our ammo, get some utilities back. And we're right back in the fight. Let's see if the molly does anything. Mm, don't think so. But these pistols aren't really doing a whole lot either. I mean, it's doing damage, but you can find some stronger weapons to fight this guy with. Tell you what. We got him to half health. Less than half. If I can uh, get a good rhythm going, we can get his health down a bit faster. My hand's just starting to cramp, though. That's just the, the stress of being a gamer. Oh, he's about to be dead. Night, night, pal. The up-close damage is definitely way better. Damage falls off so hard on this at range. I'll be taking that and two cryo freezes. I guess I'll pick up one of them. Give me that. Wow, what a nice surprise. Haven't seen our buddy the Stormcaller in a bit. And we still got a good amount of time before the storm starts moving, so I might as well get some camos done for these. And it looks like the Outlast I want to do has a stronghold on where the building spawns. So I'm going to use my good old noodle this time, and they're helping me out by uh, taking out this camp that is conveniently right where the contract is. Technically, I don't even need to take the camp out. I can just walk up and grab the, the key card, but might as well kill these guys. And since they count for camo progress, we can do it with our X-13s too. Anyone else want some? Oh, you do up here? Look at the accuracy on these. There we go. Who else? I'm just shooting in whatever direction. All right, they're all dead. And let's go have a chat with these gentlemen. What's going on, fellas? I'm going to need you guys to vacate the premises. I'm trying to camo grind here. These guys are ignoring me too. There's got to be something with Aether Shroud. Because this is not normal. Look, he has no idea. Not even a clue. I hope this isn't how our zombies act. It's going to make uh, getting camos a little more difficult. And Stronghold's done. Now we can start this up. But it is looking like the zombies do not care. Their tracking's all kinds of fucked. What camos do we even need to do here? Critical kills, hip fire kills, and point blank. Okay, so what I've been doing, basically. Sounds easy enough. There's our 250 kills. There's our hip fire kills. There's our crits. And we just need point blanks now, right? 
Yeah, and the zombies aren't really uh, tracking me, so I might just go ahead and end this contract. So I'm not individually going and shaking the hand of each one of these zombies. They gotta come up to me. Nice to see you again, tier three. This should be a bit easier for point blanks. These guys are way too aggressive to not come chase me. Oh, and these are pack two only. How am I just not noticing this? I'm the one that brought in the crystals. I made the sandwich. Now I'm a little confused on how this works. Do I need to melee the pack-a-punch machine again to not have the camo? Or do we just do it? Let's just do it. Okay, we, we're, we're good. We're fine. Now we can properly get our point blanks. And we found another contract. Might as well do it. It's another abomination. We can take that down easily. Just in time, too. Aether Storm's coming in right about now. We'll make quick work of them just after seeing how much these do to him. Uh, broke a face, but it looks like he stopped shooting his laser before then. And we're out of ammo. All right. That was enough, X-13s. You tried. Now the big boys are here to play. Let's just get the dumbass to shoot his laser. Are you going to do it? No, you're just going to stand there? Yep, yeah, that works too. As long as you get your mouth open. There we go. That's what we like to see. Night, night, pal. Last bullet. Oh, is that a flawless? Oh, did I just equip that? No, I put it away. All right, cool. I guess we can get the rest of our point blanks before we go there. Just need this one camo and then we can go on through the portal. I need nine more kills and there's like no zombies around. Of course. The camo curse always finds a way to get to me. This should be the last two right here. Maybe even three. There we go. Show me the camo. What? Oh, there it is. Okay. I wasn't patient enough. All right, Dark Aether, here we come. And we got 15 minutes to get through this. I am not very optimistic. This Dark Aether has beat my ass way too many times. And we're starting off with the Escort. I tried doing it in other orders before. Didn't seem to work very well. But hopefully we can avoid some uh, Mimic shenanigans and it all comes down to skill. Let's we'll start it up immediately. Okay, we didn't even get fucking out of the first base before he went inside the ACV. At least he left. So that's good. They just need to spawn in less mimics if they're not going to work right. When you want some disciple, give me that nuke you got in there. Oh shit, we're already on 60%. This is not going well at all. Oh, and you know what's happening here? When we went to the Dark Aether, it gave us our pack camo. That's what happened. That's why we're not doing well. Oh shit. We are not in a good spot. I need to run and grab stuns from here. Toss one. Ooh. That was huge, and that was not. We're already on 20%. We did not get far on this at all. Yeah, we, I, we lost already. It's cooked. It's done. We just now made it through the first one. Still haven't gotten a nuke, and it's gone. All right, well, rather lose there than run at the end. Saves us time, because these are not doing a whole lot of damage here. These mimics are eating these shots. Same with the zombies. These really fall off in the Dark Aether, but it might just be because of the range. But I ain't getting close to those bastards. They do nefarious things. Dastardly things. They'll violate you. So I'm just throwing a cashmere to start this one. And we'll try to get this done. Give me that. Let's Aether Shroud, because we were barely alive. And start it up. Oh, jeez. This is not going well at all. No. How many self-revives do I even have? I didn't even prepare that well for this. Oh, that's my last self-revive I'm on. We can still finish this contract at least. Hopefully. We just might have to throw away the stun grenade that we have. We can't go and refill it right now. There is a nuke on the ground. That might be our saving grace. Let's grab that. Thank you. Let's try to take some of these guys out while they're stunned. We got to 70%. Just a little bit more. And I'm going to have to switch to these cashmeres. Let's use one. And let's stay right by it. Well, Aether Shroud. It's almost at 100%, but there's two nukes. So I'm going to hit one right now. And hit this one right after. There we go. Hit it again. What do we get for that? A reimbursement and some more self-revives. We can go fight the abomination now. Let's see if we can start it up without getting our shit clapped. Activate. Grab. Uh, I will replace... Shit. I don't know this. All right, abomination. It's just me and you, pal. Let's get this thing done. I already broke a face without even having to shoot a laser. Looks like they scale well against the Abomination and the Aether. Just not against uh, really anything else. Let's throw a Cashmere. Keep the zombies away so we can light this guy up. Okay, that worked. Plan worked flawlessly. And we got to bring the Monkey Bomb out. It's not going to keep the Elites away, but at least the zombies can fuck off for a little bit. Let's break another face on them. Not quite, but, um, oh, never mind. I was about to use a jug, but apparently you can't use that here. 
I don't know what kill streaks you can and can't use here. This Mangler got a nuke in him and I want it. Did he actually drop it? He did. You just have to try to get to it. There it is. Perfect. Shoot that laser. Guess what? Thermite. Come on. He's very low health. If he just shoots another laser, he's gone. I can just thermite him to death. Holy Mangler. I'm getting hit from all angles. They're filling all my holes. Come on. This has got to be it right here. There we go. Can we loot fast enough to not get killed? Nope. We got five minutes to try to get this loot. Any of you guys want to drop a nuke? Or like anything I can use? That'd be awesome. A molly. Let's go. Throw that down. Try to get everything to walk through it. And this guy's got a nuke in him. This is absolute chaos. Holy shit. Let me in there. This Dark Aether is so fun. I just wish the rewards were better. I could not care less about these gas masks. Oh, and a cashmere. Wow. Nice little treat on our way out. And of course, now all the zombies just die for nothing. This guy's got a fake nuke in him. And now it's just very quiet. Eerily quiet. Not a zombie in sight. Let's uh, take this as our opportunity to get out of here. We don't want the game fucking us even more. We'll use this cashmere on our way out. Get a few extra kills. And uh, goodbye, Dark Aether. Did we at least get a good cooldown on our schematics? Uh, an hour off? An hour 19? Lame. Should be more. But overall, the pistols formerly known as Mustang and Sally were actually pretty decent. They're not like the greatest weapon out there, but they're a lot better than I thought they'd be. They could handle themselves in tier three against all kinds of zombies, any elite. But once you got to tier four, you could see the fall off a bit. There in the Dark Aether, like the zombies weren't going down as easy. The elites weren't going down as easy. And it's lack of range, like especially with the attachments that come on the blueprint, kind of hinder it to where you really need to be up close and personal against anything you're fighting. But it's a sweet blueprint and I can't wait for the next Black Ops game. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.